Well, after all the sugar rushes and candy hangovers wore off, I decided we were going to take the kids out and get them familiar with these raw firearms. It's really important for these kids to get educated and familiar with the firearms they're going to be using on these hunts. Nice. Good job. It's also just a great way to build confidence and have fun. Good Can shooting, I get Tex. the bullets that Good there. shooting, Tex. Can I get the bullets that went over there? Let's go kill some monsters. Daniel and his family are trying to make this a really good place to deer hunt, but the population of hogs on this place is just absolutely out of control. There was one hog in particular that is a stud. You can't miss him. He looks like a grizzly bear cub. So that morning when me and Addie went slipping down the road, that hog was in the back of my mind. And Daniel said, whatever you do, don't let him leave. Get real nervous in the next couple seconds. I'm, gonna I'm trying to get this field pod set up and the hog is leaving. I didn't want Addie to have to take a rushed, unstable shot at this hog, but I also didn't want this hog to get away. Come here, man. You got him, right? I got him. Sorry, Addie, but he was leaving. Is that okay? That's that big one they wanted to kill. This hog was bugging out, and all I heard in the back of my head was Wayne Grove from the movie Heat. I had to get it on, man. He's making a move. I had to get it on. Oh, man. What a hog. Look at the cutter on that dude. He was the boss hog around here. Now we whacked down the big one, girl. <laughs> hey, come here. Holy cow. Paid. Look at his cutters. How much does it weigh, you think? Two. Two something. That is sharp. I've never that seen That is wild. I mean, it's like, good job, girl. That's a good Halloween hog to a kid. <laughs> <laughs> we should just set that out front of the house or something. I, I mean, I think I just put it on the, the, the trailer with us as we Mr. go through town. Pig, <laughs> Mr. Pig's down. Did you? Yeah, but it didn't go through. That sucker been needing to die. He needs to die. One down, literally hundreds to go. On this next hunt, Addie and I went out in the pouring down rain to an overgrown field where they've been seeing a ton of hogs. Addie's sitting on the ground covering this gap that she can see through. I'm standing up trying to see over some of this grass, but we see absolutely nothing but a couple of deer that evening. So we're getting poured on and it's getting dark and all of a sudden my Spartan camera on my cell phone goes off and it's telling me that the hogs are less than 100 yards away from us. My girl Addie and I are on the same page though. She said, Daddy, if I can't see them and you get a shot, don't you let those hogs leave this field alive. So proud of her. She's a special girl. Yahtzee. Daggone it, man. It happened again. We got a hog shot, but I really want to get Addie a shot at one of these big hogs. Yeah, he didn't have any teeth hardly at all. Put him on the pig, Pa. It was wet and miserable out there, but the double bacon ranger is heading back to camp. As always, once you're back at the house, it's time to tell some war stories. Truth is, between the torrential downpour and the high grass, if we didn't have that Spartan camera out there, we'd have never known these hogs were in the world. But at 649, I pulled my phone out, and I was like, that's right now. I was like, that was two minutes ago, you know? And then I flipped to the next picture, and it's that. Yeah, he's there. It's just hog hair, yeah. One thing you can always count on from the Anderson family, especially on cold, wet, miserable days during hunting season, is a hot meal and some good old-fashioned Southern hospitality. 